Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle rant. Today's topic, artificial sweeteners. I know I've talked about these before, but I want to discuss, a lot of people are confused, why I say, and why a lot of people out there will say, other coaches, that you can have like diet drinks, like diet sodas, you can have, you know, protein powders like whey isolates that use these artificial sweeteners to sweeten them. And the artificial sweeteners we mostly are talking about are Splenda, you know, which is also known as sucralose. Sucralose is the uh, artificial ingredient that they have in, in the, those little yellow packets. Splenda, we'll talk about them in a minute. And sucralose and, and another uh, artificial sweetener known as ACE-K are the two sweeteners you see mostly in sodas and sometimes you see them in, uh, you see mostly in protein powders. Uh, some of the sodas are still using aspartame as well. But there's a difference between these sweeteners when they're in a liquid or powder form versus when they're in these little packets. Now, you know, I know, because I dieted for shows for many years, that we love to put these little packets on our oatmeal and we love to put our, these little packets on top of our protein shakes to make them sweeter. We like to put these packets on our salads and on every eggs and everything you could possibly think about. Everyone's sprinkling packets on everything. Now, I tell my clients, and I know a lot of other coaches do probably because they've heard me say it and because they're smart, you can't overdo those little packets, okay? And there's certain ones you can do, there's certain ones you can't. Now, what's the deal? Let's, first of all, the original blue packet was the, um, was uh, equal, that's what it was called. And equal was aspartame, which has no calories whatsoever, but it was always combined with something else. And that's the same case with the newer sweetener that most people are using, which is known as Splenda. Splenda is in the yellow packets. Splenda is sucralose combined with either maltodextrin or dextrose. And that's the same thing they do in the equal packets. Now, why do they put dextrose, which is a sugar, okay, or maltodextrin, which is essentially metabolized like sugar as well, it's a carbohydrate. Why are they putting that in a sugar-free sweetener? It makes no absolute sense whatsoever, right? Until you realize how small of an amount of sucralose is actually in Splenda. It's tiny, it's, it's, it's little microscopic amounts. That's why when people tell me, oh, those artificial sweeteners will kill you, even if they were poisoned, they're so little that you're consuming, you'll, they're 100 times sweeter than regular sugar on a gram for gram basis. So it's a very small amount of, of, of particles in the packet. So what they do is they need some kind of substance to add it to so that you can sprinkle them on your food. So they put dextrose in there. And they're smart. What they do, these companies, they put just enough, enough in there to make it, you know, give it substance and, and sweetness. Because let's face it, dextrose and multidextrin has sweetness to it. Okay, but not enough where they can have to list it as actually a gram of carbs in there. They just are under that one gram mark. So they're, they're tricking you basically. So there's about a gram of carbs, okay, in all those packets. When, most people think, well, it's an artificial sweetener. There's no carbs. No, there's carbs in there. There's either sugar or there's carbohydrates. Usually it's dextrose. Right here, we're looking at one that uses maltodextrin. And that's the same thing as sugar, okay? So there's one gram in each. So now if you eat 20 packets of this a day, which is very reasonable between putting it in coffee, putting it on your foods and stuff like that, and you know, just eating it out of the packet, which I've seen people do, that's 20 grams of carbs you can be adding to your... Uh, daily intake, okay? And if you're on a carb-free diet, that's enough to take you out of ketosis. It's certainly enough to, as if, if you're a woman to sabotage your diet. So I tell my people, if you're gonna use those sweeteners, no more than three packets a day, okay? Now there's a better solution. There's a product called Stevia Balance, okay? This company is brilliant, okay, that they came up with. And I like the NOW, they, they have some good products. Um, there, but there's a couple of them that are out there, but I know specifically Stevia Balance, if you look at their ingredient list, okay, they have Stevia, okay, in there, but they also, once again, because Stevia is so sweet, they have to add it, something else to give it substance so you can sprinkle on your food, they add inulin fiber. Inulin fiber is exactly what it sounds like, it's fiber. And as we know, fiber by definition is a carbohydrate that's not absorbable, okay? So you could have as many packets of stevia balance as you want because the stevia itself is not absorbable and the inulin fiber is not absorbable, okay? Why the Splenda people haven't come out with an inulin fiber, okay, combined 
with the sucralose, I have no idea, okay? And I think, I, I think in Europe, once I was there, they actually had inulin fiber, dextrose, and, and, and sucralose in a packet. It was so much powder that I didn't even want to put it on my food. But the point is that maybe it's a cost thing. Maybe inulin fiber is more expensive than dextrose. I'm sure it is because sugar is really cheap. But the bottom line is that you have to worry about and you have to be concerned about packets that have dextrose and maltodextrin, especially if you're on a very low or ketogenic diet because you don't want to be taken out of ketosis by these things. This easy solution is get products like Stevia Balance and once again, you have to learn to read the ingredient list. Okay, you can go, we're looking on Amazon right now and that's what we're putting up on the screen. On Amazon, if you go and you look at the, you can, they have pictures of the box. Do we have the ingredient list there? Can we zoom that in at all? No, oh, we don't. Well, you may have to go to a different one, but it, it should say what the ingredients on there and it'll say usually stevia or stevia sides and they'll say, you know, inulin fiber, okay? If it says dextrose or maltodextrin, you don't want to use a lot of those. So if you're into, if you're into sweetening your foods up, an easy solution, okay, yeah, inulin fiber, there it is. An easy solution is to buy a product like this that has the inulin fiber in it, then you can eat as much as you want of it. Make yourself sick to your bone. You know, I know people that take water and add it to it. You know, or if you eat, drink a lot of tea or coffee. I like my coffee black, but I like it to have a sweetness to it. So when I would dye it, I would add in the uh, stevia balance. Because then I didn't feel guilty like I was like adding you know, 60 grams of carbs to my daily intake. It makes sense. Now, why is it not in like my isolize? Why doesn't I isolize has sucralose? And how come it has no maltodextrin? Or because the actual protein whey isolate powder is what gives the product substance. All I gotta do is sweeten that substance. Once again, I don't have to worry about sprinkling it on anything. And that's the reason why. And same thing with diet soda. Diet soda is in a liquid form. They just add the, the, the sucralose or they add the aspartame to it. They don't have to add the, the other stuff to it because the substance is actually the liquid that's in there, the water that's in there, that's, you know, or the soda, whatever they're making it out of. And that is the, the variation. And, and this is something that a lot of people don't understand the nuances of. So I think it's important that you understand what's going on and the deception behind some of these packets. Yes, it's an artificial sweetener, but they do have sugar in them. Some of them. Some of them don't, okay? Some of them taste better than others, you know? why they couldn't just, you know, put a couple of little, you know, a very small packet, mini packet, I don't know. I would almost rather than have them put, put chalk in there. Put some freaking chalk in there. Ground up chalk with the sweetener in there. Why do you have to add sugar to it? It's so stu it's the stupidest concept of all time that a company would add sugar to a sugar-free, you know, uh, sh sugar substitute, right? It, the whole idea, it's called a sugar substitute and they're putting sugar in it. It's nuts. It's crazy. <laughs> Use Stevia Balance. And I'm sure if you guys look hard enough, I didn't really search hard enough, go on Amazon, you could find other sweeteners that probably are smart enough to use inulin fiber as a vehicle to deliver the substance in a, in a, in a convenient way without having to add other you know, carbohydrates to the mix. All right, I hope I clarified the artificial sweetener conundrum that is out there and whether you can and can't have it. Another thing a lot of people ask me is, can I, can I, do I have to stop this before a shelf? No. What's the difference? Your body doesn't absorb it. Have it right up to the shelf. Look, some people have reactions to these artificial sweeteners. Very small population of people. It bothers their stomach, gives them headaches, whatever the case may be. Don't use it if it bothers you. But for most people, it doesn't. And it helps them to get through the diet. It curbs the sweet, you know, the sweet taste. Look, I drink diet ginger ale all day long. It's not very sweet, okay? It, but I like the taste of it. it. It takes away that, you know, that, that desire to guzzle, guzzle, guzzle all day long, uh, you know, water. So I drink it. I don't drink a lot. I drink maybe one can a day. But for me, it's, it's, it's pleasurable and it's not, I'm not, I know I'm not putting toxic sugar into my body and screwing up my insulin resistance and just making my body poison because that's what sugar is. It's really poison. I eat carbohydrates, but I eat complex carbohydrates. I don't, I stay away from sugar as much as possible. And so should you. There's no reason to. It's a, they're empty, wasted calories. Use your artificial sweetness, but be smart. And then in the off season, if you want to use Splendor and you want to use the regular packets because you're not really counting carbohydrates as much, and it's only a couple of grams here and there, use those then. But while you're dieting, try the Stevia Balance. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle rant.